Salawam. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakakwadas. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that Ruel. Peace and blessings and salutations unto the elect. This is the brother you wanted on. Coming from the Great Millstone, saw Great Millstone, West Palm Camp. I'm back again with another lesson, exhortation through the Spirit. All right, and um, ba basically in this lesson or exhortation, I'm gonna be going into waiting. All right, one thing that we have to do is wait upon our Lord. Okay, wait upon Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. All right, whether it be a year from now. Whether it be five years from now, whether it be 10 years from now, man. And that's not what we want, okay? But we have to understand that it's not about what we want, man. It's about the will of your how by smile shot, man. So whether it be a year or two or whether it be 10 years, man, we got to be waiting upon the Lord, man, and doing what's pleasing in his sight, Okay. Now, at the rate that these prophecies are speaking, okay, at the rate that, a, again, that these prophecies are moving, we understand that it ain't going to be another 10 years. Abaratazah, Lord willing. But, you know, worse comes to worse. Hey, it says to gird up thy loins like a man, okay? And that's what we got to do. Now, I want to start at the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse uh, 34. And it says, blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door. You see? So it says to what? It says to watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors, man. So we got to be like that, that faithful dog, man. That faithful dog that knows that his master is coming home to come feed him, to show him love, to take him out, to use the restroom. We got to be like those faithful dogs, man, waiting upon our Lord, man, okay? And I get it, brothers. Babylon is fucking hell, man. But that's the condition of the battle, man. That's also a part of the curses that hey, we'll be in Babylon and we will have to wait upon our Lord, man. We'll be in this lowest state. We'll be in this condition, okay? But... It ain't always gonna be like this, man. So, rather than bitching up and rather than um, rather than bitching up and complaining, hey, man, take this thing cheerfully, man. Because whether it's a year, two years, five years, ten years, we know that Yahweh Shah is in fact gonna redeem us, okay? That's a promise, okay? That's why in the book of Romans, what does it say, man? In the book of Romans, it says, for what if some did not believe, man? So you got some people, as the years go by, they're going to come in that spirit of what? Where's the promise of his coming, Yo, okay? Where's the promise of his coming, all right? And again, that's why Romans, what, the third chapter says, Hey, for what if some did not believe, man? For what if some did not believe? Shall I, make, shall I make the faith of the Most High void? Okay? Shall I make these prophecies void? No, man. We know these prophecies are going to come to pass. We know Yahweh Shah is going to come deliver us, man. But we got to be patient. We have to wait. Okay? So, as the years go by, as we have to wait upon our Lord, we got to stay faithful. Not only do we have to stay faithful, okay, but we have to be watching, okay, because hey, we have been given what? We have been given, we have been given this light, okay? We have been given that light that we can see, all right? That means uh, we being spiritually sober, man, but nevertheless, okay, we got to wait upon our Lord, man, whether it's five years from now, 10 years from now, man, so fucking what, man? Babylon the Great ain't gonna stand forever, man. The prophecies that are written in the scriptures will come to pass, man. And brothers, believe me, just like how y'all brothers want this place to fall down, trust me, man. I want this bitch to fall down too. Every brother that's serving the Lord 
and spirit and in truth wants this place to fall down, man. But it's not according to our time, man. It's according to Yahweh Bashmal Shah. And do and in due time, okay, he's gonna give his servants, his his saints, okay, the true believers, he's gonna give them what they want, man. Okay? So I know I quoted the scripture. But let me go ahead and grab it. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true and every man a liar. You see? So let the Most High be true and every man a liar, man. All right, because hey, guess what? Yahweh Bashimah Shah is a man. All right, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah is a man that cannot lie, okay? So these prophecies are going to come to pass, man. We got to be in that, we have to be in the right spirit when He does arrive, man. All right, because it says He's going to have what? He's going to have healing in His wings, okay? We're going to grab that scripture too, okay? But this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 19. And therefore will the Heavenly Father... Uh, let me read it again. And therefore will the Lord Yahweh wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he will have mercy upon you. For the Lord Yahweh is a power of judgment, a, a judgment. Blessed are they that wait for him. You see, it says blessed are they that wait for him, man. And that's what we're doing. All right. That's the spirit that we're trying to come in, man. We're trying to wait for our Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Whether it's this long or whether it's that long, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father is unrighteous to forget our labor of work, our, our, our labor of works, man, our labor of love. You know, he can't go back on his word, man. Okay? So that's why, hey, again, we're supposed to read these scriptures and we're supposed to be comforted, all right, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, because, hey, the Holy Spirit is the only way. That these words are gonna resonate with you, man. All right, the Holy Spirit is the only way that hey, you're gonna be able to read these words and get a true understanding, man. And that's why for all you scoffers, that's why for all you unbelievers, man, the Heavenly Father is gonna kill y'all, man. All you men that went back into the world, man. You know, all you dudes that's um, entertainers, all you sports dudes, man. The Lord going to kill y'all lives, man. Because hey, there's a lot of men that went back into this world and was impatient. Okay? They were impatient. And that's why it says, woe unto them that are what? Or woe to them that have lost patience. What shall ye do when the Lord shall visit you, man? See, that's another thing. The Lord is going to come and visit this place, man. And he's already visiting this place right now, man. All right? So, hey, this ain't the time to get weak. This ain't the time to be counting days, man. Man, day by day, man. Isn't that what it say in Matthew the sixth chapter? It says, take no thought for the morrow. Okay, for the, the, the morrow is gonna take care of itself, man. Let's get try, let's just try to get through these days day by day, man. Okay? Because these prophecies will play out, man. They will come to pass. These things that hey, we're worried about. Hey, how about some outside going to handle them, man? We just got to be, like the scriptures say, Proverbs 8 and 34. We got to just be waiting for the Lord, watching daily, waiting for waiting for him, you know, at his post. You know, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay. Um, I also want to get the soldier, okay, suffering hardness, man, you know. Bear me one second. Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Hamashiach. No man that worth entangled himself with the affairs of this life. That he that he may please him who he have chosen to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he except he strive lawfully. You see? So uh we can't be 
in the midst or we can't be entangled or even in the mindset of the cares of this world, man. Because this place is going to go down, man. Everything that's in this place is going to go down, man. All right? These wicked women, these wicked men, okay? Esau, Edom, all these things is going down, man. So we have to be having our mindset of things that have importance, man. Having our mindset upon the prophecies. Having our mindset upon this word, man. It tells you that this engrafted word, which is able to save your souls, man. So we got to be focused on this, man. All right? You know, and it's more, it, it, it's easier said than done. But nevertheless, you know, again, this being a condition of the battle. All right? And that's exactly what it is. We cut right here. You know, doing the little walk and talk. All right? But, hey, how about some outside? Lord willing, we be a part of that number has chosen us to be his soldiers, man, you know? And that's, you know, to be chosen of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, especially in the times we in right now, man, is a blessing. You know, I made a lesson on this yesterday, man, to be able to know the prophecies that are written in the scriptures are a blessing, man, for us to, to able to know the heavenly father's name and his only begotten son, man. That's a blessing, man. For us to be even to know that this place, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed, man, is a blessing. All right? So, stay in your lane, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> stay in your lane, man. At the end of the day, Yahweh Shah says, I call you no more, uh, I call you no more servants, but I call you friends. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So, when these things spring forth, as far as, as, far as these prophecies... Yahweh Shah is going to tell his men, all right, but nevertheless, man, we got to stay in our lane spiritually, man, as far as not trying to know everything as like, oh, I need to know this. Nah, man, we have an, exactly what we need for salvation, man. We have exactly what we need to get deliverance out of this place, man, you know? That's why it says, no man knoweth the hour all right, no man know of that time except one, and that's Yahweh. Okay, there's things that are too far. That, that, these things are that are above our strength, man. Things that we can't comprehend in this body that we're in, man. The book of Sirach goes into that, man. You know, to not to um, search things that, are, that that is above thy strength, man. All right, so we have to stay in our lane, man. Now I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. Okay, we have exactly what we need for salvation. We got to keep serving Yahweh Bashem al Shah. And in due time, he's going to exalt us, man. In due time, he's going to deliver us, man. You know, and this was just on my spirit. You know, as I was thinking today, man, like, um, you know, I was talking with a brother, you know, really just going into how, you know, Babylon day to day and how, you know, all that things and that such, man. But at the end of the day, again, this is the condition of the battle, man. It tells you that in Second Ezra, the seventh chapter, you know, the condition of the battle which man was going to face, man. Okay, let's get that right quick. Second Ezra, chapter seven. Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse 57. Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. You see, so this is the condition of our battle, okay, that we have to fight, meaning we have to fight this damn wicked ass uh, mind. We have to fight these, 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 these demons, all right, spiritually with the spirit. We gotta stay in the spirit. We gotta fight off Babylon, man. All right, because everything in this place, Babylon the Great is carnal. Okay, and to be carnally minded is death, so we have to be spiritually minded because it's life and peace, man. Okay, so again, man, this is the condition of the battle, all right? So with that being the condition of the battle, knowing that, you know, sometimes, oh, man, Babylon is too hard. Babylon, man, we got to be a, a, a soldier, and endure hardness. What did Yahweh Shah command us to do? Yahweh Shah said, endure it to the end. 
Okay, if you endure to the end, what what does it say after that? If you shall endure to the end, okay, ye shall be saved. Let me get that. Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse 13. And he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. You see, so if we endure to the end, okay, we're going to be saved. All right. And that's what we want, right? We want to be saved. Saved out of what? We want to be saved out of this destruction. We want to be saved out of the times we're coming into, man. All right. We want to be saved from the ICBM nuclear missiles that's going to rain upon this place, man. Which the Lord is going to destroy. Okay. So, again, if we endure to the end, we're going to be saved. And this is written in the scriptures. All right, so hey, if we have to wait one more year, two more years, three more years, four more, five more years, man, so be it, man, because these prophecies are going to come to pass, man. But nevertheless, this is not according to our will. This is according to the will of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, man. So I know I was rambling, you know, I was really walking, doing a walking talk, man, but it was on my spirit just to go over that, man. That even though it gets hard, it says this is a light affliction. Okay, and we can close out on that, man. Second uh, Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. You see, so the inward man is renewed day by day. Why? Because we might take these losses on the outward all right, but we getting spiritual W's on the N-word daily, okay? Because, hey, the times that we living in right now, it's supposed to prepare us for the times to come. And that's why, again, reading these scriptures, watching these lessons from the apostles and elders is supposed to do what? It's supposed to edify us, and edify means to build, all right? Verse 17, though our light affliction, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, Worketh for us a far more exceeding and internal weight of glory. You see? So again, man, Romans the 15th chapter 4 verse says the things are written for time were written for our learning. Alright, so we gotta read these scriptures. Hey, and it's supposed to comfort us, man. We're supposed to be able to learn from these scriptures, man. Okay, not just read it, but also attain it in our day-to-day, -day, man. So let's see. Let's also go to um let's also go to let's go to the 18 or you know we could close it out on that but a hey, lord willing this lesson was edifying to the next time giving all praise glory and honor to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem kakadash double honor to the apostles and elders great millstone every well peace bless to the elect next time shalom ababa ba kamiya shalom shalom